Hi you guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be reviewing some TG products and going over on how to style a shag. We're first going to be brushing out our hair and then we're going to be taking a nice section from the nape of the neck. Once we're sectioned out, we will be using TG's Hot Iron Thermal Protectant Spray. Keep your hair from damage while doing any kind of thermal styling. This has been one of my favorites because it doesn't leave your hair oily, sticky, or stiff like other sprays. It leaves a healthy shine and movement, and it's also not extremely expensive. This is definitely a product I would absolutely recommend. So the secret to flat iron curls is sectioning and tension on the hair. We want to take sections to match our flat iron size. In this video, I'm using a Paul Mitchell one and a quarter inch flat iron, so we want to take a similar size in our sectioning. Starting at the roots and working our way down, we start to turn the flat iron to create a curl, all while keeping the hair nice and tight. This will create pretty soft curls. With the style, we're going to be going for texture, not really that tight, perfect spiral curl. We want a nice, messy, beachy texture to our hair. We're going to continue working around the head and up until we're all done. Out of curiosity, have you guys ever tried doing flat iron curls? Leave a comment below on your experience, whether it's been good or bad. I want to hear. And if you haven't tried, after watching this video, do you think you will? Let me know if you do and how that experience was. My first time doing flat iron curls was extremely clumsy and I felt like I was all hands. And I feel like after years of practice, I've gotten a lot better with it and a lot more comfortable with it. So if this is something you are intimidated by, just know that it can get way better and easier with practice. So once we're done curling, we're going to be lightly spraying TG's OB Hive Dry Shampoo onto our roots. This is so great for dark hair, it does not leave a white film in the hair, and it helps to soak up any excess oil in between washes. I love this product and I use it constantly. I only wash my hair about twice a week and this really helps to prevent any oil just to build up that greasy look. It prevents that completely. This also is great to use to create texture and volume when styling and it helps to hold the tease or back combing. I'm just gently running my fingers through the curls to kind of break up the curls but also to bring that dry shampoo down to the mids and ends. That way it's taking away any excess oil and also prepping my hair for teasing. Next I'm going to be going section by section and teasing very lightly with a back combing brush. This is going to help create texture and volume and shape. My biggest piece of advice when teasing or back combing is don't overdo it. If you over tease, you are going to have a really hard time getting that tease out and getting the shape that you want. So go section by section and lightly tease. You guys, I seriously love the sea salt spray from TG. You can use this on wet or dry hair and it gives so much texture, those beachy, lived in vibes. I'm spraying section by section and scrunching into my hair. You can also spray this into damp hair after a shower and scrunch it in, allow it to air dry, and it will give you that beautiful beachy texture on the go. This product will really help loosen up those curls and create more of that beachy texture that I'm really looking for. Like I said, I'm not looking for spiral curls, I'm looking for something a little more messier, a little more lived in. So here I'm just running my fingers through the curls just to break them up a little bit more and help with really creating that messy texture. I'm going to be setting my hair with TG's Bedhead. This hairspray is an extra strong hold and my go-to when styling. This is the only hairspray that I have been using for the past five years. Strong all-day hold without giving you that helmet hair feel. This hairspray is definitely on my top list of must-haves. Out of curiosity, do you guys have a go-to styling product that is like an absolute must-have? If you do, comment below what it is and why you love that product so much. 
If you guys haven't already, be sure to hit the subscribe button down below. I put out new videos every week on hair, skin, and makeup. Let me know what you guys want to see next. And here's a stylist tip for you guys. Spray the spine of your comb and smooth down any flyaways. Using your hands to smooth down won't work. I know we all try this. The texture of your skin and the spray will actually create more flyaways. So using the spine of the comb works 100% and it's been a technique that I have used for Fashion Week San Diego and other big events. And as always, you guys, thank you so much for watching and be sure to hit that subscribe button.